hey welcome back actually the problem was in this text area uh, you know take where we have added required HTML attribute which was not necessary basically because this does not belong to this take and this is not a uh, valid attribute for this take basically so therefore it was not uh, you know sending the data uh, I mean it was not working basically this button now if you click this is not working basically so we have to remove this required field in order for this form to be working properly and uh, I have removed that and control s to save I have saved the page and we have echoed this whole query so whatever it will have uh, it should show us on the page here below the form because we have uh, used the echo statement over here so now refresh this page just once and add some data in the title of the product a category a brand a picture from the computer any picture for example just uh, and uh, price and some random text for description and some keywords now you click insert product now so you can see here is the whole thing insert into products product these are the field names of the table and the data that, that is coming is 1 1 HP new laptop 40 and this is the description and the image name is this obama.jpg and these are the keywords and 1 1 means that we are getting the category ID basically which is 1 and uh, the brand ID is also 1 because we have selected the first one and category the first one so therefore this will be having one one IDs uh, category IDs basically so that means it's working really nicely fine and uh, we sh can remove this echo statement now so after the query is done and written now we need to run this query basically to e execute this query which can be done just simply we will create a uh, variable I mean uh, a local variable can be something like uh, insert underscore pro uh, is equal to mysqli uh, query and uh, there are two parameters for this command the first is connection variable which we must insert I mean the connection that we have already established in a separate file called db.php so there is a connection and the second parameter is actually the insert product this one I mean the local variable in which we have saved this whole query so this will now run and now we can simply use if simply simply we can use if statement if insert pro and then in a inside two curly brackets we can say just very simply inside the echo statement to uh, two uh, double quotes we can start a JavaScript take and can write here alert and inside the two again two parentheses in a single quotes can give the person some kind of message for you know for success of this form submission just we'll say uh, product has been inserted that's it and we can also just refresh the page so we cannot have double record in our database in our table very simply script start script close we'll use JavaScript redirection so window dot open and inside the two curly uh, I mean the two parentheses this is the syntax of JavaScript so we can simply say uh, this will be a self window and we will redirect the person to basically this page insert product dot PHP I mean the same page so it will once refresh the page so that we cannot have double uh, you know duplicate data in our table it's very simply done now uh, we have inserted all the text data uh, including the image name into the table and one thing is that uh, we can simply 
upload the image that is coming uh, inside the, uh, the form so we can upload that to our folder we have we might have inside our root folder so we need to go here this is our root folder e-commerce inside that we have many folders but uh, we will save the images inside the admin area there we have insert underscore product I mean this page in which we are working right now so very simply we will create a one more folder there and we will name it product underscore images that's very simple product underscore images I mean product images that's so we need to actually uh, move this file or upload this image to that folder very simply just write uh, move underscore uploaded file and there are just uh, you know few parameters you can add for example the first will be product underscore image TMP this is because you need to give it a, a, a temporary name I mean to this file in the server so this is the temporary name and after that the folder is basically a product uh, underscore images and backslash and then the product image product underscore image that is the variable name basically so what we are going to do basically we are using a move uploaded file move underscore uploaded file there is a default function in PHP which we use for uploading uh, an image so we say that this is the function and after that we say the temporary name of the image is this one and upload it to product images folder and the image is this one I mean this image will be uploaded to this folder basically it will have its own name in on uh, data so that's very simple procedure just control is to save and now we will check this uh, in a real example so first thing is first just I will add a title and we can check out uh, our uh, I mean our products folder uh, products table over here this is absolutely empty there is no record so we will check out whether data is coming uh, properly or not so this is the title laptops will be the category and HP will be the brand and I have a folder of products images here on my desktop I have some gathered some images uh, for this project I can upload these images this is the HP laptop okay open and its price is something like four hundred dollars I will write this is a very nice HP laptop oh, that's really simple you can just use this bold italic and this alignment uh, and things like that I mean this whole text editor for uh, actually formatting this text inside the editor and now I will use some keywords HP laptops new etc just now it's time to click insert product now and it should upload insert the text data into this products table and the image to this products underscore images that's our goal right now so insert I will click insert now product now it is saying product has been inserted okay now it has replaced the page as well we had written over here in a JavaScript alert that product has been inserted okay that's fine now we need to check out our table over here the products table just click browse and you can see product ID 1 product cat 1 and product brand 1 this is the title and this is the text having its own style I mean the product description which we used uh, I mean the text editor in the image name is here and also the keywords so basically uh, we have successfully inserted the, the data into the table and uh, also it is taking or bringing the exact product category I mean the category ID and the brand ID as well we can later on you use I uh, you know these IDs for relational uh, I mean purposes or for relation purposes with other tables 
so that's really fine now we can come over here to the folder product underscore images and I will double click it was empty so I should double click it to check whether the image has been uploaded or not double click it you can see this is the image over here Th there is a single image now if we insert another data for example uh, Dell Core i7 is a title and I will say laptops and here I will say Dell from the brand and I will just simply click this laptop the pink color one 1200 is its price and I was I will simply write Dell is also a very nice laptop okay and here I will just simply insert some categories I mean keywords and we click insert product now product has been inserted okay now come over here to check out the table this browse it's another record and you can see product brand ID is 2 and uh, I mean the product category is the same one you can see one and one means we selected laptops for HP as well as for uh, for Dell so therefore there are two uh, you know same uh, cat ID and the brand ID is changed you can also check out the folder there was only one image now there are two images so now we have successfully actually uh, inserted the data and uploaded the pictures using this simple post editor so now we need to show this data here on this page or this page in the product page that is our uh, next target or next goal and uh, I will take a break over here now and we'll also upload some more products so we can uh, display all of them over here because we have already dynamically uh, displayed the brands and categories in this sidebar. Now it's time to display the products over here. Stay tuned.